All right, the watch list for Tuesday. Um, you know, as I'm watching some stocks out there that are just getting decimated, um, I'm just reminded of the days where I would, you know, something would get a big volume pop, maybe like this NYMX, and, and I would just put my whole account into it, and um, and it would come back down, and maybe add, or maybe put most of my account and add to it, and so on, and then the next thing you know, it's just tanking, and it, and then I would get rid of everything once I can't stand the pain anymore, and and tie up all that capital. Um, and lose all that money hoping you know over the next week or two the thing's going to bounce back and that the story's going to play out and I'm just reminded of those days and I'm just so happy to be a hundred percent cash at night day trader um, looking around at a lot of charts that are getting killed it's to me um, you know this is a perfect environment to be a day trader I'm making my daily goal usually by lunch and uh, you know and done trading for the day so um, here's my watch list for Tuesday NYMX 28 million shares um, closed significantly below its highs of the day, but you might get a red to green or something like that um, on Tuesday. So I definitely want to watch that one. DYN, I had this on Bounce Watch today, never gave a trigger, and another red day. Now it's, uh, I don't know, five, six days in a row, one hiccup in between there. Um, I still, if the market bounces uh, or the utility se sector bounces, I, I want to have DYN on watch. It's certainly not a bullish chart. Whoops, H U H U N. Um, the reason I have this one on watch is uh, it's just grinding, grinding lower, and then you're starting to get shape change. It's, it's subtle, but if you connect the tops of these candles in your mind and then connect these last three, you can see that the pitch is starting to change and you're getting the same thing with the volume. So this is getting way overdone to the downside. Does that mean I buy it at the open tomorrow? Of course not. Um, but it goes on bounce watch because it's starting to show some signs that it's uh, maybe capitulating soon. Um, at least for a remember guys I'm a day trader so I'm just looking for stuff that might give me a trade tomorrow um, so none of these charts you know uh, mean anything to me after tomorrow um, but they're all possibilities for me to make some money tomorrow so anyway Owens Corning OC um, three days down in a row now back down to that breakout area if the market shows any strength that is a good candidate for a long um, this is a weird chart CRUS gaps down sells off and then comes back up pretty strong then I guess has earnings. So I think it did this before earnings and it has earnings and rips up to almost new recent highs, right? Um, and so that's great. It's just a weird looking chart. And a lot of people say, well, now you got this gap to fill right here. Um, and I don't, I'm not saying you do or don't, I don't know. Uh, but now after this kind of a strong move last week, um, this would have been what, Thursday and then Friday and then today, um, I wanna start watching this one for a bounce because this was super strong after earnings. And now you've got two days lower. Um, I don't have any kind of trigger. It's got a nice support um, in the 3250 area. So I definitely want to watch that one. Okay. Um, as a believe it or not, as a potential long, even though the chart is so weird looking. Um, Lexmark, LXK, gap down today and then closed near its high. So this could be, um, this bounce could continue tomorrow. I didn't have a trade in it today. I had it on bounce watch. Um, but I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Let's see. OGXI. Super strong today. Um, biggest volume you can see going back uh, probably a year and closed near its high. So maybe a red to green on that one tomorrow. It certainly extended from the moving averages. So I don't, I'm don't. i not going to become a chaser there, but it's worth having on a chart. Didn't cost me anything to have it on a chart. U.S. Steel, nice volume today. Nice green candle. This one might have more continuation uh, of that bounce. If you look at Nucor, NUE, pretty strong this past uh 43.80 after, yeah, pretty strong this past uh, four or five sessions. So if Nucor continues higher, U.S. Steel uh, might also follow. That's a, you know, that's a possible reversal today. Um, S-U-N-E, um, you've got it kind of an equal two-day high now, and it's it's really finding support around 25. It's been on bounce watch, so I like it over this two-day high, um, 26.35-ish. Might get us move to 27 or so. We'll see. Uh, again, it, it doesn't cost me anything to have it on chart. And this one's a little bit obscure, um, but RGSE, you can't tell anything by looking at it here. This volume back here, which has been a few weeks now, um, kind of put it on, on my radar. And then um, I like it over this little tight flag here. So I want to watch um, RGSE tomorrow for a potential long. All right. Have a good night, guys. Talk to you tomorrow.